Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's video is all about water drops micro tea. So if you're not familiar with water drop, that is the company that makes those little tiny cubes that you dissolve in cold water and it encourages you to drink more water and it contains nice flavors and extra vitamins and things. If you wanna know more about water drop and the micro drinks, I'll put a card here and it'll take you to my review and explanation about that. This video is gonna be all about the new tea that they've launched. So they launched it, I'm gonna say a month or so ago, or a couple of months ago, and I've been drinking the tea and I've been enjoying the tea, but they've just launched a new flavor, which I'll also be talking about in this video, and that is Mellow Mint. So you should be able to see here in the background, I've got one of their tea flasks, and I'll put a link underneath with all these different items if you see anything you wanna pick up. We're gonna go through Oriental Spice flavor. We're gonna go through Fruit Fusion and White Blossom. And those three are the first three flavors they launched. And we're also gonna try out Mellow Mint, which is their newest launch that literally just launched, I think yesterday. So I have prepared some water and we're gonna do a taste test on them all. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the idea of micro tea and how that all works. Okay, so first of all, what is micro tea? Water Drop describe it as a soothing hot beverage made from the finest fruits and plant extracts, no brewing time and no tea bags needed. You can brew it in water from 60 degrees. You can obviously have it hotter if you want, but 60 degrees is about what they recommend. Now, of course you're thinking, how on earth can I brew 60 degree water? That doesn't make sense. Most kettles, it's 100 degrees. So obviously you can guesstimate it because it doesn't matter exactly what the temperature is as long as it's over 60. So you can just kind of cut it off 30 seconds before it's gonna go off. You may well have a temperature control kettle. I have one, but the lowest it will do is 70. So I've just been brewing it at 70. Or you can brew it to 100 degrees and then just use say 60% of the boiled water and then top it up with 40% cold water and kind of work it out that way. But it's not an exact science. It doesn't really matter how hot the water is as so long as it's at least 60 degrees. So the idea behind this is it's really good for when you're on the go because you can just sort of take your flask of hot water out with you or just get some hot water and pop one of these in and that's it your drinks done and we're going to make the drink together so you'll see exactly how that works you also don't need to like stir it or anything like that and the micro teas themselves come in little pods like this so they're pretty small and pretty portable you can recycle these little pods and the paper on top so if you're concerned about that you can absolutely do that and again it's going after the brand ethos which is to drink more water which obviously makes you feel a lot better the more water you drink the better you feel the better your skin should look and everything else so let's start by brewing some teas we're going to start off with oriental spice this is actually my personal favorite this is one that you'll really enjoy if you like ginger sorts of flavors so this contains ginger turmeric and chili in terms of the amount of water that they're telling you to put with these drinks it tells you to brew between 400 and 600 mils of water now for the purposes of this kind of demonstration, I have got these mugs that I think are around about 350 ml, so it's slightly less water than they recommend. But I would say when preparing any drink really, you're gonna do it to your own specifications and how you like to taste them. So you're gonna play around with it and you're gonna kind of decide whether you want it stronger or weaker according to your kind of taste buds. So these boxes contain 12 of the micro teas. These retail at £7.90. I have got a discount code and I'll tell you a bit more about that as we go along. This is the Oriental Spice. So you're just gonna peel that back, get your water, drop in the little, this is really hard to do one-handed, and it's just gonna start to kind of effervesce there in the water. So I've selected these mugs purely because they are see-through, so hopefully you can see what's happening when you put that little tablet in there. So it's just you can start drinking at any time, there's no waiting, but as you can see, it's still kind of effervescing, it keeps moving every time I'm trying to show you, but ultimately I wait for it to finish doing its thing before I start drinking it, because then you're gonna get the full effect, and you don't wanna accidentally swallow this little thing. It won't do you any harm, but it would be a bit of a 
you know a bit of a powerful one so you can see this has got this bright yellow color and i've not sped the video up at all this is in real time how long it's taken to kind of dissipate of course turmeric is quite good for you it's quite good for inflammation and things of that nature and i quite like it this packs a nice kind of spicy brew it's not going to blow your head off but it's going to give you that kind of hot spicy taste so it's something a bit dish different something a bit special and like i said it's my kind of personal favorite so let's see what water drop say about this tea before we taste it and while it's doing its thing so they say spice up your life you are longing for an exotic adventure but the couch is too comfortable close your eyes and let yourself be carried away by the irresistible blend of ginger turmeric and chili wanderlust guaranteed so these all contain no sugar no sweeteners and natural fruit and plant extracts so they are suitable for diabetics there's only four calories per drop they're in environmentally friendly packaging and they are suitable for diabetics. So it's a real orange colour now, which will be from that turmeric. And you can actually see at the bottom, a little of it has settled. But that will kind of mix a bit more as we drink along. So it kind of coats the back of the throat in that really nice gingery sensation. So you actually get a little bit of heat at the back of the throat as well i find it really i just love it and i find it gives you a little bit of a kind of afternoon boost even though there's no caffeine or anything in there it just gives you that little bit of something because of the spiciness of it then we're going to have a look at fruit infusion so i suspect this is going to be their most popular blend because it's really got that kind of fruity taste to it so if you enjoy like a fruit tea this is a pretty safe bet if you're not sure on the flavors this one contains rose hip blueberry and hibiscus so really lovely and fruity and in fact my bottle is actually in that design of the fruits so these are these kind of like tea flasks so they're double walled they've got these really pretty designs on to match the flavor of tea and they've got a little stopper on top and it's kind of spill proof and you can just drink from that little spout there the only thing negative i would say about these is that if you do put water in that's hotter than the 60 degrees so you particularly if you were to put like boiling hot water in because it retains the heat so well when you take it off you can probably see the steam coming out and that's only 80 degree water it retains the heat so so well that you can burn in your mouth if it's too hot so if you're going to take it out and you're going to drink i would make sure it's at a drinkable temperature when you put it in here rather than putting it in there and thinking oh it'll cool down a bit by the time i come to drink it it probably won't it's so, it does such a good job of insulating the temperature in there you're liable to kind of burn your mouth so be really really careful with that one so i'm just going to pour this water in here and then we'll make our drink and that is kind of what the lid and everything looks like still a tiny bit of water in there but they are really really pretty nice to hold i like the little rubber kind of stopper thing there but be very very careful it also has a little logo of water drop on there but be very very careful if you're putting boiling hot water in here because it will burn your mouth so be careful and that's the kind of cardboard sleeve thing that that cup comes in and they've launched some new ones for the new mint flavor so there's one that kind of goes along with each flavor but back to our fruit fusion so i'm going to get one of these little drops and i'm just going to peel this off here and just drop it in here and while it's doing its thing so this is more of a kind of purpley thing going on a bit of more of a purpley color and um, if you're wondering i did purchase the micro teas myself when they first came out water drop have since sent these to me so these ones were sent to me free of charge i wasn't asked to do a review or anything else but i thought it's high time i did do a review of these i've done uh, water drop reviews and things before so i thought maybe people would like to hear a bit about this like new launch and this tea because it is a different sort of idea from um, the usual so you can see it's doing its thing it's jumping around over here it's quite interesting to watch as well if you like that sort of thing and it's making a little bit of a kind of fizzing sound so what do water drops say about fruit fusion so it's hibiscus blueberry and rose here it says this flavor bears fruit your most refreshing dreams come true let the flavor explosion of hibiscus blueberry and rose hip take you on a fruitful adventure very irresistible so we've been enjoying these as a family for a couple of months since 
whenever it was they released them and we're all divided on which one we think is the best so one of my sons thinks the fruit flavored is the best the other one thinks the ginger one's the best and my husband actually prefers the white blossom tea which we're going to do in just a second for me i prefer the ginger and like i said i've just started trying out the mints but we'll talk more about that when we get to it so this one seems to be taking a little bit longer to fizz i'm not sure why but you can see that rich purpley color kind of forming there okay so it's finished doing its thing you can just see it's just made the water that little bit darker so that's got that really nice berry flavor so if you are someone who enjoys that kind of black currant blackberry blueberry type flavor this is the sort of blend you're likely to enjoy very nice and a great one to kind of drink in the evening because it's just nice doesn't contain caffeine and just an enjoyable drink really next up we've got white blossom so this is a blend of white tea blueberry and linden blossom so this one is the only one that kind of contains like a tea extract whereas all the other ones are more of like a fruit blend and this is what they look like so again i'm just gonna drop this into the water this is the kind of quite a light colored one you can see it almost looks a little bit greeny colored but it doesn't when it's finished so white tea linden blossom and blueberry and it says carte blanche for comfort you've got the world at your feet the elegant blend of white tea blueberry and linden blossom tastes of sheer extravagance being at leisure has never been easier so this one is definitely one of the sort of gentler tastes you've not got that kind of punch that you get with the ginger tea you've not got the kind of fruitiness that comes through with a fruit fusion this is obviously the closest to an actual tea with it being a white tea and if you drank white tea you'll know it's quite a delicate flavored sort of tea and with those other flavors that are in there it just sort of all balances quite nicely and it's just a really lovely drink to either have in the morning or in the kind of early afternoon as a nice little afternoon taste um it's a really lovely lovely drink again seems to be taking a little while to kind of effervesce this might be because as i'm making the video the water is gradually uh, kind of cooling down a little bit uh, but it gives you an idea of kind of how long this process might take and you can just see as it's doing its thing it's kind of throwing off those little fruit and plant extracts and with it having only four calories per cube as well if you are kind of watching how many calories you have in or you're on a bit of a new year kind of health kick you know that at least this isn't going to be adding any kind of sugar or many calories to your kind of daily intake especially if you're somebody who has like tea or coffee with a couple of sugars or a load of milk or something this might be a kind of healthier alternative for you and again it's obviously all just about kind of getting you to drink that little bit more water personally i find particularly in the winter i gravitate more towards drinking a lot more warm water in the summer i find it really easy to drink lots of water i do enjoy water anyway just plain water um but i find i reach more for hot drinks in the summer just to give you that kind of sensation of being warmed up i guess so these definitely have helped me to continue to drink lots of water in the winter months okay so you can see this is the lightest kind of color we've ended up and at the end i will put them all side by side so you can kind of see the color difference and what they all look like when they are side by side like i said you just get that light flavor of the white tea and a little bit of a kind of almost florally undertaste not too much in the way of fruit although if you look for it you can just about pick out that kind of blueberry taste in there so this then brings us to the new tea which is mellow mint and that is what this looks like i've shown you before but i'm going to kind of show you again so i'm going to get my cup and for the last time in this video we're going to drop this in we're going to watch it doing its thing straight away when i drop this in i can smell that mint i suppose mint is one of those scents and tastes that does tend to take over other things what i do as well i'm going to mention this while it's doing its thing i tend to stack the little 
container things that the drops come in like this and then when I've got a load I'll just go and put them all in the recycling um but I just find that they click together nicely to be sort of stored ready to be recycled so this is made up of mint lemon verbena and apple but mint I would say is the overall overriding kind of taste but you are getting the kind of mellowness I guess they would describe it as from that lemon, lemon verbena and apple so it says, welcome to the mild. The tender flavours of mint, lemon, verbena and a hint of apple will keep you warm and comfortable at all times. Take a walk on the mild side. So you can see this is quite a light colour as well. I suppose it's most similar to the white blossom in terms of colour. So you can really smell the mint. It's almost got that kind of soft mint flavour you know if you've had like the soft mints in that spearmint kind of flavour that's the sort of scent that's what it reminds me of in terms of taste it tastes to me of like a minty apple combo I don't get much of the lemon verbena although I think it does play into it nicely you don't pick it up as a taste or I don't anyway I get more of that kind of minty apple flavor but it's actually quite a nice combination and I have been trying these over the last few days with it being this new flavor and actually I think this works better with less water whereas things like the ginger in particular and the fruit flavor you can kind of go closer to the like 600 ml water bit whereas these lend themselves more to the 400 ml amount of water if you know what I mean but again this is going to depend on your own personal taste buds I do find that one of these little micro teas makes enough for two cups generally these are quite large cups but if I was brewing kind of closer to 600 mils in particular or if I was drinking out of the usual mugs I would drink out of you know drink tea out of it would give me two mugs so you're getting a little bit more than you think from these but I really do like this this is definitely growing on me when I first tried it um and I did prepared it with like 600 mils of water I wasn't as keen it didn't have that much of a taste it was more about I could smell it and couldn't really taste it but actually when you prepare it with less water you definitely get more of that flavor and I definitely prefer it prepared in that way so we're starting off there with oriental spice you can just see I have put the boxes on top of the tea so hopefully you can kind of see uh, which one's which so we've got mellow mint here on the far right We've got white blossom and we've got fruit fusion and finally we're back to oriental spice. In terms of discounts, if you are new to Waterdrop, I have got a link under the video and it will take you to their website. It will give you a discount code and you'll get £5 off your first purchase of £35 or more. They do ship all over the EU and to the UK. Um, and all the information will be under the video. I'll put a link there. They do also have a discount code at the moment upon the launch of their new flavour, which I'll also put under the video, but that is going to be limited time only. And if you are a new customer, you'd be better using the new customer link. Um, so it's there if you do want that discount. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's kind of helped you understand micro tea a little bit more and that you've enjoyed kind of hearing my thoughts on the different flavours. Let me know in the comments what you think of this idea. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. I'll link some other water drop videos I've done at the end if you want to check them out and if you're interested in this kind of brand and some of the products that they produce or if you're trying to drink more water. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.